Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you some easy, non-toxic ways to clean your bathroom. I'm starting at my sink and mirror and I'm just spraying this half water, half white vinegar mixture all over. Then I begin to wipe it off with my microfiber cloth from the Dollar Tree. Make sure you're using a dry microfiber cloth to soak it all in. Once it's dry, you're left with a beautiful streak-free mirror. You could never wear me out, even after all of these years. You still look at me with the same love. It's just a stool, but I don't mind. You could never Vinegar is a wonderful natural cleaner and disinfectant, so it's perfect for using on the sink as well. If you need some extra scrubbing power, you can sprinkle some baking soda on your sink and then spray your vinegar mixture on top. Leave it to work its magic for a minute or two and then just wipe it away. Next up is the toilet. I'm using the same vinegar and water mixture to spray all over the toilet. I always start with the lid and work my way down. Just like before, you'll just spray the mixture and then wipe it away with a dry microfiber cloth. If you don't love the smell of vinegar, you can go ahead and add some essential oils to the bottle and just give it a swirl. My favorites for the bathroom are tea tree and lemon essential oils. Tea tree and lemon oil both have antibacterial properties, so they will not only make your bathroom smell amazing, but they'll also aid in the cleaning power of the vinegar. Now for the inside of the toilet, I just used a half a cup of baking soda and sprinkled it all over the inside of the bowl. Use a toilet brush to scrub all around and make sure to pay special attention to any stains that may be in there. After that, pour in a cup of undiluted white vinegar. I also added in about 15 drops each of the tea tree and lemon oil I was talking about. Dump it in and watch the magic. If you have little boys, you know how hard it is to get the pee smell out of the bathroom, but it still smelled so fresh several hours later. I was honestly so amazed. And last, it's time to clean this tub. Many of you expressed interest in seeing how you can clean your tub with a broom, so this is for you. I use a little dish soap in the bottom of the tub, sprinkle baking soda all over, and then spray that same vinegar and water spray very generously all over. Then just wet the bristles on your broom and start scrubbing. It is unbelievably easy and works so much better than I thought it would. I was able to clean the whole tub in a matter of minutes without having to bend at all. Then 
once you've scrubbed all over, simply turn on your shower hose and spray the bubbles away. You are left with a fresh and clean bathtub. Under my tattoos, it's a remedy, remedy, remedy. And there you have it. Those are three super easy, super quick, mostly non-toxic ways to clean your bathroom. I know the dish soap in the bathtub is not non-toxic, but if you use an all natural or non-toxic dish soap, that would make it even more perfect and so, so easy. In a previous video, I talked about how I wanted to clean my bathroom with a broom and try it out. I learned that trick from Amanda from This Crazy Life and I it is incredibly easy. I am so amazed at how easy it was and how well it did in the bathtub and there is no bending required at all. I absolutely love it and I just got the broom from the Dollar Tree. I spent a dollar on it so I highly, highly recommend it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope that it taught you a few things let me know down in the comments if you would like to try some of these uh, ways out in your bathroom as well god bless you i hope to see you in the next video bye friends